right, we're back at Focus on Imaging 2012, and we're here on the three-legged thing stand, and we're talking to Danny. Uh, hi, Danny, how you doing? Hello, mate, I'm very well, thank you. Good stuff. Now, um, I wanted to seek you guys out, because you are a British tripod company. Are you the only British tripod company? Um, I think Bembo were originally made in the UK. I don't... I, I couldn't honestly tell you now whether or not they are. Well, They're still around, definitely. Are they? I mean, it's, it's lovely to, to be able to support a British company. Yeah. Um, and uh, I see you've got one of the products here in your hand. This is Brian. Um, this is Brian. <laughs> is, it, is it that Brian over there? I'm it seeing is. Brian May on the wall. Yeah. I heard tell that all your products are named after rock stars. Yeah. So this is Brian. Who else have we got? We've got Eric as an Eric Clapton. Uh huh. Um, Jack Black, who's not really a rock style but he is a rock legend. He's the ultimate rock star. He is a bit of a rock star, yeah, to be fair. Uh, and Adrian Smith from Iron Maiden. Ah, Iron Maiden. I was wondering who the Adrian was. I right. actually saw Adrian Smith last summer yeah. uh, at the O2 Arena right. and showed him one of his own products and he just looked at me like I was mental. <laughs> So this, right, okay, so I guess you don't have to pay royalties just by calling it no. Adrian, no. We, we just decided, you know what, there's so many, there's so many manufacturers in the world now, we just decided that um, it, it's very difficult for customers to ascertain what they're getting, and then when they walk into, you know, Jessup's or Jacob's or Camera World, uh, B&H, Adorama, wherever, and they say, can I have an MT60845 CF? Yeah. It, they just get blank looks, so, so we, we thought we'd though. simplify it. Yeah, yeah, Simple absolutely, name. and give it a bit of, you've got a real punk vibe in your, in your marketing as well. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we plays we, off that British. We're trying to be a bit diverse, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, I have heard, I'm going to address this question really quickly. I've, I've heard some people say, oh, but it's just a rebranded version of somebody else's tripod. Is that true? No. We've heard it. I mean, it, it, the reality is, is that we're making tripods that have greater functionality and capability than any other tripod in the world. Mm -hmm. Why would somebody make this tripod and then sell it to me to compete against them when it's better than what they're already selling? They're all designed by us in Stagston. Um, it's 100% ours. Uh, every, every, every component. There's 168 individual components in this tripod alone. Mm -hmm. um, we've got videos on YouTube which show us doing all the CAD drawings, all the design work. And we've worked very hard. We've worked very hard as photographers to, to design this product. Right. Uh, OK, so let's, let's take a look at the product. Because I think sure. you've, you've just done uh, version two of your product, am this I right? Is, uh, second generation, yeah. Right. So what, so what, what have you changed and, and what, what's... Uh... A few things. With, with, um, with the first generation, we were buying in components and carbon fibre from various manufacturers and actually, you know, to spec out, put our tripods together, which is where the rumours about us being a rebrand started in the first place. Oh, I see. Um, and then when we retooled, we basically retooled last April, spent seven months remoulding the entire range. We now make our own carbon fibre. We're one of the few that actually makes, we have our own carbon fibre kilns, make our own carbon fibre. We've gone on the um, on the smallest range, we've gone from 24 mil to 26 mil. Mm -hmm. So it's slightly more rigid. Um, it's a little bit heavier. Uh, and there's just loads more functions on it. On the original range, we didn't have grub screws on the mounting plate, which we now have um, under here. I see, yep, yep. Yeah. We also had two dials um, to run the head. If I just pull this out. Yeah, what we, what we did to change on the second gen with the, with the head, originally we had a, a, a knob for the lock and one for the clutch, which meant you had to use it two-handed, uh, which was a, a slight oversight on our part. What we've done now is we've condensed it down to this one knob so that you can run your drag and your lock so that's now fully locked, and you have to put a serious amount of pressure on it to move it. Um, and what we've done is, originally when we designed it, this was going to be our clutch dial. But actually, we managed to get the mechanism for this working so well that we didn't need the separate clutch dial, and we like the design of this. So what we've done is, we've put an Archimedes screw on it, so it, you see it coming away from the edge, and what it is is a mechanical lock against the knob. So once you've got the tension set, you now can't change that knob. Right. It's like a security knob. So if you're coming back and shooting a bit later and you want to keep the same tension, it's already set up for you. Most people would probably use that one and that one alone, but it's yeah. there if, you know, if you're on long exposures, etc. So we changed that. We made this knob a little bit larger. In fact, we made all the knobs slightly larger. We've moved the, um, the knurled knob from the clamp to the to the front of the plate. So there's our bubble levels on the back. Mm. Traditionally, a camera would sit sideways here. Uh, over the top of that, it makes this very hard to get to. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but in 100 years, nobody's thought of putting it forward. So now you've got it with it lens sitting. Your lens sits up here. You've got loads of access to it. It's in a more natural position to use. Um, it's it's very difficult to get our plates off accidentally. Right. You have to really fully untwist it to get it off. I mean, that was literally about the, between the difference between there and it not coming off, mm. and on there, and it not coming off, and all the way off. 
so that if you've got a big camera on it, you can't get it out. Right, and I think you've got um, a black rapid integration thing yeah, on yeah. here as well? With our, with our second gen, what we've done is we, um, we sat down with the guys at Black Rapid, we took them out to our factory, um, sat down with the engineers and, and basically uh, thrashed out a way of integrating their T1 mm -hmm. in with our release plate. So basically, if you've got a Black Rapid strap system, you can now go straight from strap, straight to tripod. Brilliant, right. And how are these selling then? So the, I think your, <laughs> your version two, I heard tell of a, a waiting list. Yeah. Uh, am I right? It's, uh, uh, it's been a bit of a whirlwind for us. We, we launched um, second generation in December, late December, globally, uh, and sold out in a day. In a day? In a day. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I got a phone call from B&H the day after we launched saying, we need some more, and I was like, I can't help you. Uh, literally, we're, <laughs> we're such a small company. We're running about four production lines at the minute. We need 16 realistically to get up to speed. That's what we're trying to work to at the minute. Because we're kind of small, we're not, you know, you compare us to the big giants like Manfrotto, part of the VTEC group. I mean, they're, mm. they, they, they've got so much spending power, buying power, and manufacturing power that they can afford to just continually make. There's only four of us. We're a little, little company. Oh, so you're all here? Well, there's three of us here, yeah. <laughs> Chris is back at the, um, back at the studio in Stagston, uh, you know, dealing with customers on site. Answering the phone. Yeah, basically, answering the phone <laughs> right. and answering emails. So it's, it's a, we are a really, really small organisation. We're getting there. Um, it, we had no idea. I mean, we launched this as a pocket money project, really. We, as, as photographers, we felt that there was a gap in the market for products that worked the way a photographer would want it to work, and not just, we're not, we don't have CAD engineers sat in a cubicle, you know, crunching numbers and doing designs for us. We've done it ourselves. We've made it as we want it to operate ourselves. Brilliant. So people can get, go to the three-legged thing website to get it? Yeah. Excellent. Or they can go to B&H. Or B&H, Adorama, yeah, yeah. Camera World. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, it's Great. mostly on pre-order. We get a lot of people saying to us, look, I'll get it when it comes in stock. At the moment, it's selling out quicker than we're making it. So it's, right. if you want it, it's a pre-order. We're, right. we're fulfilling in about 14 days at the minute. It's, um, it's not too long a wait. Great stuff. All right, well, thank you very much for your time. I can Absolute see you've got people building up here on the stand again. Yeah. <laughs> I managed to grab you at a quiet moment, and he's got rammed again yeah. in the meantime. So uh, congratulations on, on what is obviously a thriving business. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Thank you. Photo Walkthrough is a free online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. Please help support the show by using our sponsor's promo codes or by passing the promo codes on to your friends. Join the Photo Walkthrough community, find all the old shows, and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com. Thank you.